Boo. <laughs> so I'm Joni or Keto Diamond, but this is not a keto video. This is an exploration video because as always, we set off to do nothing and end up exploring something. So um, I, I love doing that. And my husband apparently really loves doing that. He found a road yesterday. Can't really call a road. Now I'm older, so I've been down a few dirt roads in my life. But whew, this one, you're gonna see a little clip of the, the, the road. Um, we visited a place yesterday as we were going. We left the house because my husband was bored and he wanted to bite to eat. He, he typed in Blue Ridge um, and we just kind of headed that way. Now the Blue Ridge is a long mountains range, but parts of it are only about an hour from our house. So as we're traveling, we see a sign for a place called Lake James. It's like, okay, well let's check this out and see what it looks like. I'm dying to get out there and get some barefoot time in the wilderness and uh, not all barefoot time in the wilderness um, because, you know, we got critters. <laughs> Biting critters with fangs. So, not all barefoot time, but, um, of course, I don't think my flip-flops are really going to save me. Not the point. I'm never prepared for these. I don't know why, because we always end up here, but this somewhere, but that's never where we set out to do. Literally, we were going to go find somewhere different to eat. Found Lake James. Beautiful, huge, massive lake on the mountain that I didn't know existed, that we've passed by a few times, you know, going places and uh, just never paid attention to it. I was like, okay, let's, let's check it out. So we did. Huge place. Now, most of it is boating area, um, hiking, stuff like that, some bicycling, um, camping, and there's a small swimming section, which is really lovely, to be honest with you, just a little small beach on the mountain. Um, and it's got a lot of changing areas and bathrooms, so that's really cool, you know. It's, it's a very, very nice place. So I'm going to show you some clips from it. But, yeah, my husband, now I'm older. We're older. So we've been down a dirt road a time or two. The road we live on, I remember when it was a dirt road. So it, that's not unusual. It's not even unusual to find a dirt road on the side of the mountain. This one was a little bit rough. See, because after we had visited Lake James, there was a place, a gorge up there, and my husband's like, let's put that in, 17 miles away. A 53-minute trip. How was a 53 trip? Huh? 17 miles? This does not compute. He's like, well, we got enough gas. Let's go check it out. It's like, okay. Um, oh, this road was rough. And we saw a lot of beautiful sights, and we managed to get that Dodge Dart with its tires about that thick up through most of this terrain. This is not a place for a Dodge Dart, okay? Especially with low-profile tires. My Mini Cooper, all-wheel drive, big, thick, fluffy, fat tires. Yeah, probably fine. Uh, just as good as a Land Rover up through there. But, not a Dodge Dart. It's, it's this high off the ground anyway. And then again, the tires, they got this much tire on them. And we don't have a spare. So I'm thinking, this, this is probably not. We need to get a spare in this car because you never know. We really do need to do that. <laughs> but... Because if I had to call my dad to come get me from some obscure dirt road at the side of a cliff, I'm pretty sure he's going to be a little bit irritated. He'll do it, but he's going to be irritated. <laughs> Nothing like a boomer when he's irritated either. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> if you ever held a flashlight for your daddy and he's older, you understand. He's one of them. He's very red foreman like, to be honest with you, but less city and more country. So that explains. But. Let me show you the clips from yesterday. Some very, very beautiful spots. I scratched my leg just trying to get one picture of me sitting on a rock. And the picture didn't even come out that damn good. It's irritating. Let me go ahead and show you the picture. And I, I didn't hurt myself that bad, but it stung like hell at the time. So, here we go. <laughs> oh, that's always slightly creepy. Oh, you can walk on it too. It's 
not warm at all. It's not cold at all. It's just warm water. It's nice. They're about to close this. So I'm probably gonna leave. You can see forever out of there. Look yonder, y'all. Ain't that pretty? Hubby has a way of finding roads. Mm. <laughs> we was wondering how this was a 53 minute trip for a 17 mile drive. <laughs> we figured it out. Oh my goodness. We definitely need to buy a pickup truck. Ooh. Oh my God. <laughs> it broke your car. Uh, yeah, at least it's higher up. And it's all-wheel drive. Jeez. Huh. And there was a sign that said road will be uh, maybe impassable in snow and rain. I believe it. <laughs> oh yeah, look at these bumps. Oh my goodness. Oh. Uh, uh. It's actually pretty damn rough. <laughs> There sure are some beautiful places to see out here, regardless of the rough road. <laughs> That's so pretty. I think it looks like the other side of the place we stopped while ago. You were looking at the front of it. This yeah. Is the view of it. I think so. This is a beautiful spot. Yep. part kind of sucked. <laughs> Probably. Mm -hmm. I got a little campfire going on here. Now that's lovely. <laughs> now I know this short video did not capture the beauty and majesty of this amazing place, but it's gorgeous. And one of these days we're gonna go back up in there and one of these days I'm gonna remember to pack some damn tennis shoes. I had water shoes, no I didn't. I took them out the other day when they got wet and I was playing in a river up in the mountain. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I need to pack some tennis shoes. Gotta do that. I ain't never gonna do it. I'm gonna do it today. That way, some of these adventures. But then again, we're gonna take the wrong car because we really don't need to dodge dark up in the damn mountains. Although the Mini Cooper's a straight drive and that's kind of more of a pain in the ass. But, you know, when you're on a cliff in rocks and you don't wanna slide to begin with, <laughs> then you got the straight drive to worry about up the hill and don't wanna do it. We're gonna have to get a pickup truck. That is gonna be our next vehicle purchase, but we gotta wait till we get other vehicles settled and home things settled but our next purchase is planned to be a pickup truck as far as a big purchase but that's gonna be a little while down the road because it ain't buying shit until this inflation goes down mm -mm, done <laughs> done we had a lot of money now we ain't got no money but, you know. but anyway we're still exploring having a look around and enjoying life there's so much to North Carolina. We'll never see it all. Even no matter how much we go, no matter how much we do, we'll never see all of North Carolina. Plus, there's other places we want to visit. You know, we're going to go to Louisiana for our anniversary, our 25th wedding anniversary. Guys, what is the 25th anniversary? Is it silver? I can't remember. I need to look it up, I guess. Um, of course, neither one of us care, but it's curious. <laughs> um, have you explored any really amazing places especially around North Carolina that I can go check out because I'd like to check it out I would also we're gonna go hiking early one morning up in Stone Mountain because they do have a, a roundabout it's about four and a half miles long that I would like to check out the last time we were up there we had my grandson Zach with us it, it, that whole hiking thing while he can do it I really don't want to listen to an eight-year-old bitch while he's doing it <laughs> 
maybe when he gets a little older, if he's decided he, he wants to go that route, we'll do that. But right now, he's more interested in the short-term fun, you know what I mean? The waterfalls and the, the little swimming areas and picnic places and stuff like short-term fun. Quick, easy, simple. Not long-term, let's walk forever and learn something about a critter. Not really into that yet. <laughs> Although I wish my dad would have went hiking with me. That would have been fun. We went hiking every year for a Christmas tree, which ultimately made me sick because apparently I'm allergic to Christmas trees. Who knew until I got older and got got attacked by a Christmas tree and developed red dots all over me. I didn't get attacked by a Christmas tree. I was carrying up the steps by myself and then got little red dots all over me and got really sick. And then I realized, oh, I'm allergic to that. And then allergy shots. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got off on a tangent. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to put a lot more up um, because we do this stuff all the time and it's quite accidental. Literally, we went out to find a different restaurant yesterday. Alright, much love. I'll see you in a little bit.